In technology, especially the one for capital markets, because I run an engineering group, we constantly evaluate and reevaluate technologies all the time. We're in constant POCs. Uh, in that respect, Microsoft was always a trusted partner. I think we push their boundaries. We work directly with their engineering teams in, in Redmond. We're obviously not shy to have expectations on certain aspects of the technology. We try to shift from a general purpose technology to a more specialized technology and we have, we, we see now that that shift is happening. There's very specific requirements. Microsoft is at the great advantage in capital markets because the interface of choice is still a productivity tool that's part of your office suite. Excel will never disappear from the front of the trader. We just want the next 20 best version of Excel. We have numerous discussion and it's interesting. As far as the cloud concept is, more five-year big data is. The definition of big data in financials is completely different from what big data is in oil and gas. It's completely different how it is in uh, genomics and life sciences that dwarfs it all. So when you start sequencing genomics or you do cancer research, the amount of data that they generate daily, it's probably the amount of data that we generate in financials in a year. It's not just the amount of data, but the speed at which we can process it. There's certain trading strategies in which uh, the, the whole analysis, the trading decision, the trading execution has to happen in 30 milliseconds or less, or otherwise you're, you're not making money on that trade. So for us, latencies, ability to process data in flight, it's, it's, it's what's critical. So, there are specific techniques and technologies, uh, but it's, it's very interesting how, how expertise from one industry can influence the other. And for that one, I commend Microsoft for putting together people that have nothing to do or not competitors so we can, we can share experience on how we handle data. It seems to become a, a global problem because there's a lot of, the more computers we have at work, the more ability to generate data. It's not, we're not talking even about humans. It's not humans generating this huge amount of data. It's the systems that we put to work.